with the Touch Graphics folks here. I've got Steve Landau and Lindsay Yazzolino, and uh, everybody I had lunch with said we ought to come over and see what Touch Graphics is doing. So what are you guys doing, Steve? So Touch Graphics is all about uh, tactile information presented in a universal context. So we're trying to make materials that are usable by everybody, but are fully accessible to people with, with disabilities, including visual uh, impairment. And but still accessible to the sighted as well. Exactly, and fun for everybody to use, and informative and helpful to, uh, to the general audience. Okay, so what have we got here? So this is an example of one of our talking maps. Lindsay, do you want to? Um, yeah. Talk about that a uh, definitely, little? Definitely, definitely. So this is actually a map of the Google campus, the Google headquarters uh, located in New York City. And um, it is actually being in, in the process of being mounted on that campus. Um, so the idea behind it is that the map itself is tactile. Outside of Google area. So when you touch it, you can feel the, the different rooms um, and the paths. Um, the, you know, some of the, the office room. spaces, um, but as you can also hear, it's also providing audio information. So if you, for example, were to touch a, a, one of the, uh, the elements on the map, so this is, for example, this bumpy stuff, that's an office cube, and if I were to touch it a second time, 4C327 is the actual room number. I'm going to describe this a little bit for the sighted folks too. This is a giant Android tablet. What is it about two, three, two and a half feet across? It's a 24-inch diagonal Android tablet, and it's got an overlay on it that's in color. That's got shows us the office numbers, but there's also these little bumps that she's touching that then allow her to have it read to her of uh, of what the different things are on the map. Yes. Do we want to show an example of the overlay on its own? Yeah. Let's yeah. Show them yeah. The tactile okay. skin, so you'll so really this get the is, whole picture. So this is the one of the tactile skins, and um, so she's holding this. It's basically the same kind of overlay, but we're feeling it with our hands just in space. Yeah. So this is one of the skins, and yes, the idea is that you would set this on top of the map. Um, the skin itself actually has an NFC tag on it, so that when you um, lay it down on the map, which the on the tablet, which has an NFC reader, it's, it detects the code on the map. And uh, because the, the tablet has software which um, ha shows the, what's in each of the coordinates of the map, it will automatically then load um, the data for that map. I, you know, I was going to ask, wait a minute, how does the tablet know what's on the, on the uh, overlay? But no, <laughs> you jump right to yep. it. Yeah. Yep. And uh, Steve, did you want to explain the process, the um, kind of the idea, the technology sure. behind the, the printing? So we've discovered the kind of an interesting new way to make tactile graphics. And tactile graphics, as, as I think Lindsay has explained, are raised line and textured diagrams, pictures, maps, all kinds of different spatial representations that we can now feel uh, by touching with our fingers. But it's not just like a braille map, it's more than that. Well, it uses Braille in some places, but it's, it's lines and textures, not Braille. Uh, and, and that's because we're trying to show people, for example, where the stairs are, where the elevator is, where the map you are here point is, where the bathrooms are. And for each one of those, there's a different tactile symbol that you can feel very easily. And we make these maps with a very special kind of printer that can lay down a gel, a liquid, which is then cured. You know when you go to the dentist and they put that purple light in your mouth? Yeah, yeah, I hate that. Yeah, so well, that... We like it. We like it. We like it. <laughs> because what it does, that ultraviolet light uh, cures the liquid that the printer lays down and it turns into a hard raised line. And so we can control the height of those lines and create kind of a hierarchy uh, where we have some very light things. These textures are very low and light. The, these travel routes are kind of high and smooth. And then the steps, try feeling that little step. You'll see it's kind of like a little staircase. Yeah, just a little tiny thing coming up versus the, the travel route, which is, is much bigger. Exactly. So 
once we've created this overlay, we can place it on the Android tablet. And because this material is so thin, your finger still activates the touch screen right through. Oh, the that's the real trick. So that's, okay. And we struggled with this for a long time. We developed a lot of different prototypes to try to get it thinner and thinner and thinner. But we were doing it with like engraving on a plastic sheet and it started cracking. It was so painful and frustrating. But then we discovered this new printer and it solved all of our problems. Yeah, wow. and, and the lines that it produces are, are so precise that not only are they easy to feel, um, but when I first you know, saw, uh, saw them, I, I was just blown away by how crisp and how nice aesthetic. So easy to understand. Easy because to understand. And just, you know, I just kept wanting to touch it because it, it was so clear. I like it. So it's a perfect UI, basically, for you. So who do you who do you market to? I mean, you, do you sell these to regular companies, or how do you produce your products? Well, we do lots of different markets, you know, because we're in a funny kind of business where these uh, are very small groups of, 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 of users sometimes. So in order to really build up our business, we're trying to reach out to museums, to uh, schools, libraries, businesses. We, I, had a, I had a lady from the CIA over here at the table earlier today, and she uh, thinks that this would be a really nice technology for their headquarters in Langley. Of course, I told her that all the tablets have a microphone, so you can talk to them. And she said, oh, no, no, no microphones. I'm not surprised. Not, not surprised one little bit. So, uh, but a, a regular business that's got a bunch of office buildings, they could contract with you directly. Exactly. That's that. That's that's what we're trying to accomplish. And so right, right now we're working with a great company, Google, who is uh, sort of um, you know. Uh, interested in innovation and demonstrating what they think are, 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 are you know, good technologies and promoting things like that. So we're Very hoping cool. to maybe do more work with them. All right. But, uh, right so let's, let's take a quick break here and we're going to move, uh, move scenes because uh, I want to find out why there's a horse head behind me. Okay. We're going to tell you all about the horse. Okay. We've moved over by the sculptures. What are we looking at, Lindsay? So we are looking. Well, we're looking at several things. The one in particular is this uh, this sculpture. It's a Buddhist. Oh well, it will tell us what it is actually. Let's listen, it's going to talk to us. This is a reproduction of a Chinese Buddhist sculpture. The actual work of art, made around 1150 A.D., appears elsewhere in the museum. The original sculpture is extremely rare and one of the most important Chinese objects at the San Diego Museum of Art. You may touch this reproduction with your hands. As you explore it, you will hear the names of parts that you touch. If you continue touching a single part, you will hear a description of that part and explanations about the sculpture and the people who created it. Begin touching now, or wait for more general information. So, have you guys you guys created this? Yes. The San Diego Museum. Let's okay. try touching it. Go ahead and touch the feet. Okay, but the feet. I'll touch. I'll okay. Keep touching it. Guanyin stands on bare feet. Notice the toes, heels, and soles of his feet. So I'm moving my hand around. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, can we make it stop? Because <laughs> I want I want to hear what you've yeah. done here. This is this okay, is very so cool. This so is a 3D printed replica of a priceless Chinese sculpture from the collection of the San Diego Museum of Art. So they came to us and they said, "Well, we have blind visitors who come to the museum. And we'd like to make some versions of some of our most important artworks that are really accessible for this." this population. So we started by going to the museum, carefully removing the glass case on this precious artifact, and then we scanned it digitally using our iPhones. It's an amazing thing. You take your iPhone and you take hundreds of photographs of the object from all different angles, all different directions. All those photographs are then processed uh, on a computer program and it creates a digital model of the form. So we created the digital model, then we sent that file to a 3D printer. Now, 3D printers are in wide use right now and they're really magical uh, machines, but they can create objects like this. Once we had the 3D print, which by the way comes out as a monochromatic plastic object, we painted it with a special kind of paint. 
And that paint has an amazing property. It can actually detect where you're touching on this. So surface. it's through the paint that it's sensing that I grabbed her hand. Correct. Wow. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Well, it's um, you know a really versatile, simple, and inexpensive way to make objects like this that people can experience all different ways. And we you know we, we know that little kids love to touch things. Oh come on, we all love we all love to yeah, touch things. Adults right? do, and and we've just you know I think most adults just have had to learn not to. Yeah, we were right. told we've, uh, we're what, no. our first words are don't I touch. Right? Adults like somehow think you know you can get boiling and not touch things anymore, but we want to show that that doesn't have to be, you know, be the case. All right, well, you know what, I think that's a, a perfect place. You guys have a lot more to show, but if people want to learn more about Touch Graphics, where would they go? Oh, they can go to touchgraphics.com on the internet, or they can call us at 800-884-2440. Great, thank you very much, Steve and Lindsay. This was fantastic. Thank, thank you so you. much, Allison.